This is uh, Dr. Abraham Weisfeld reporting to the In Struggle News Program. We are able to interview Dr. Uri Davis here, who is one of the founders of the international opposition and domestic opposition to the Zionist project of occupation and expulsion, and the uh, innovator whose uh, work has uh, led to the categorization of the uh, Zionist state as an apartheid state, as well as initiating the uh, boycott of the uh, JNF, Jewish National Fund, internationally, which has now become the international BDS movement. Welcome to this struggle news broadcast. Thank you. And uh, we would like to uh, know from you what your evaluation of this current campaign of the Palestinian hunger strikers is and is to be. The 1,800 strikers, I believe they are now. Correct. It is difficult for people who do not have the experience of protracted jail incarceration to appreciate what the hunger strike, any political hunger strike, whether in uh, British jail in Northern Ireland or in apartheid Israeli jails in Palestine, to appreciate the cruelty of that incarceration. The hunger strike, the current hunger strike, is basically based on a rather straightforward demand and an insistence on the fulfillment of that demand, namely that political prisoners in Israeli jail be treated in terms of international <coughs> jailing standards for political prisoners. The Israeli prison authorities uh, adamantly refused to respond to that demand and in my estimation, the equation will change uh, in favor of the fulfillment of the demands of the current hunger strike if assisted by massive international solidarity, primarily civil society solidarity and proper civil society solidarity will impact governments. That kind of pressure is likely to change the equation between the hunger strike and the criminal Israeli apartheid authorities in uh, favor of the hunger strike and in fulfillment of what is a very simple and basic demand, respect for in international standards of incarceration. I'll, I'll, I'll resort to a very simple and, and human uh, uh, case, that of not allowing the prisoner to hug and touch their visitors, uh, <laughs> imposing upon uh, the people incarcerated for uh, long periods, often multiple sentences of nighttime incarceration, denying them the possibility of hugging their children, hugging their king, their kin, and uh, touching a, a, a human person from among the various circles of their family. This is atrocious, this is cruel, this is absolutely ugly for the prisoner and of course for his kin. That demand, the Israeli prison authorities, the apartheid Israel prison authorities, refuse to concede, alleging security considerations. So I repeat again, the, this and other uh, demands completely within international law standards of incarceration of political prisoners are the root and the cause and <coughs> the object of the hunger strike and need to be fulfilled on a straight humanitarian basis and I have a feeling that without assistance of massive solidarity in civil society, such as is, indefinite, is definitely due to impact governments, that hunger strike will remain protracted. I'm also confident that the purpose of the Israeli apartheid prison authority, or the one of the strategic aims of the 
Israeli apartheid prison authorities is to attempt to break the political will of the hunger strike. And I uh, can assure our viewers and listeners that that aim will not succeed. The <coughs> political will of uh, the prisoners and the hunger strikers is firm and will not be broken. We appreciate your remarks.